Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Saint Artist. We're gonna do the evergreen look. I've been talking about the evergreen look. I did a live on this and I thought, you know what? This look is way too good to not share because this is a great fall look. This is a great Christmas look. This is good January look. This, this is a good everyday look. I really believe it. I am gonna be using an advent color, which is ice, but also using Atlantic is your secondary option if you didn't get the advent calendar. So we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna prep my lids. Let me find a brush and a palette. And I'm just gonna prep my lids here with my brightening highlight, I'm using Sunlit. This just gives me a nice Bob Ross canvas. If you don't know, Bob Ross painted all of his canvases with a white paint first. It just helped his acrylics blend better. I know this because I grew up watching Bob Ross and that's why I always call it Bob Rossing my lids. So I'm creating a nice even surface and I'm canceling out all the colors and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create the blending surface. So I'm setting my cream if you use an eyeshadow primer that you really like, I always liked, I think it was Too Faced, but I know MAC has a good one, e.l.f. has a good, e.l.f. has amazing products. So grab whatever primer you want and go for it. I'm gonna use the eyeshadow brush. I need a cleaning tile to throw in here. There we go. We're gonna get started. So I really like using a shimmer on my brow bone. Now I have hooded eyes and I'm gonna show how I do this with hooded eyes. And while I'm chatting, I'm just pulling my stuff out. And I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner trick that I love to share to keep your eyes open. This is such a pretty color. If you have hazel eyes, if you have green eyes, if you have brown eyes, this is a great combo. So I'm gonna start with ice and I'm just gonna pop this on my brush and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone. And I do this first because if I do it last, putting this on is gonna push that transition color I put on my brow bone down and make me look more hooded and we don't wanna do that. We wanna hide the hood as much as possible. This is an all season combo right here. I'm gonna be doing my sunset eyes. Every time I get together with people, I always get asked to do the sunset eyes. Everyone loves this combination. It's Leo and Miha. Leo and Miha. So what we're gonna do is Leo first, this orange color, which I would have never bought when I was a customer. Bef when I was a normal makeup person, <laughs> I never bought oranges. I lived with the browns. They were all just different shades, light, medium, light, neutral, light, medium, all browns. But now I've just gotten the opportunity. Now that I do this, I feel obligated to try these things. And I would have never loved the colors that I love like I do now. Number 33 is the green I'm using. It is my favorite green. My favorite green. So we're going to take Leo and we're going to pop this way up top. We're going to push this on that brow bone uh, way above the crease, almost to your brow. You want to leave that little peekaboo of skin tone, but we've shimmered it with ice. Ice looks green and it just pulls really 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 pretty and it has that drift kind of formula where it's soft and creamy but it's a powder and so I hold my brush up and down I don't do this I feel like you could easily end up pulling down doing that so I pull it straight out but I hold my brush up and down and I just build this up you kind of want to punch this up a little bit more than you're comfortable with so it's going to feel like clown makeup pull it straight out don't follow your crease don't follow the flow of your eye we're wanting to pull up so when we're doing this we're going to be blending miha with it we're going to be blending other colors around so this will get blended down but you still want to kind of see it the next color i'm going into is miha this is going to make that sunset look holding it up and down pushing on that bottom part of the brow bone and following the bottom of leo and that's where this becomes that beautiful sunset look the orange with the pink it you wouldn't think that orange and pink would go with green, but it does, I promise. I wouldn't be showing you this, you wouldn't be watching this if I made a garbage eyeshadow look. But doing this is an easy standalone. You could stop right after this, pop a little shimmer on your lid and go about your day and it's a nice casual look, but it's just, this is great for baby showers, this is great for bridal showers, weddings. Doing this cute, sweet little sunset eye, it pairs with everything. Blues, browns, greens, I don't know, whatever other color is in here. Purples, I'm sure. Anyways, it's so, so good. Pop a little chai on your lid oh, with a little drift. Beautiful combo. I love pairing this sunset eye with everything. All right, so this is where we are. Next, I'm gonna go into Philly. I like this Philly. I like Philly more than I like Coco. It's so very pretty. So I put it on the small end and I'm gonna create a greater than less end. So I'm gonna push along the lash line 
and then I'm going to come outside of that eye and then I'm going to push at the bottom of the brow bone. Again, holding it up and down. I don't, I just don't. I feel like it can get you into a little bit of a more, you get a little more control over where things go. And I'm just working these together, blending as I go, but again, keeping with that upward motion. You can see it's staying upward. I like doing my brows first because it adds the real estate. If I were to stop short where my brow naturally stops, I wouldn't be bringing my eyeshadow out and it wouldn't be giving me the lift that I have. So I love drawing on my brows and pulling them a little farther out and up to keep from pulling down and making my eye look droopy. All right, grabbing into that filly again and we're going along the lash line. First, you want that deepest part along the lash line. And I only go a quarter to a halfway across or a third across the lid. And then I come out past the outer corner, the width of this small end of the eyeshadow brush. And then I start pushing in and into that Miha Leo combo at the bottom, just above the crease. I don't like putting colors into my crease. I'm hooded, you won't see them. And then I've just wasted a lot of my time. So I always push at the base of my brow bone. But using that greater than less than you end up with that pretty look it's just so pretty we're going to take what's left and we're going to push it down here and across just like that all right i'm going to use my finger you can pick these colors up with your brush i just don't think that they come out punchy enough so i'm going to use my ring finger and i'm going to go into number 33. we're going to put this on look at how pretty that is it's just i don't know why they didn't call this one emerald city because it should be all right going on that outer part to mix with that filly and I'm gonna just slowly tap and build it in, blending it in with my finger, going across the lid. And it's just getting lighter and lighter as I move across. Look at how pretty that is. With that brown, with that pink, with that orange, so pretty. Tapping it onto the finger and we start on the outside of the lid and we just grab and flick outward. We're pulling outward, we're not just swirling around all crazy, but we're just gonna push this on and pull outward and it's just a little tap and flicking motion because you don't want it to be deep and dark on the inner corner. You're wanting it to thin out because you want that brightness right here to keep your eye looking open. Look at how pretty that is. I'm telling you, greens are an underrated color. I feel like they're coming back. I feel like it's a new thing. So I'm just going to wipe this off on my finger. And now I'm going to go into ice. Right here, I love the formula. You can see Atlantic. This has a film on it from my finger rubbing on it. All you need is a spoolie. If you haven't gotten, where is it? I have it, so here it is. The Saint Spoolie, great for scuffing up your eyeshadows and it doesn't mess up your brow colors. Because, so it's separate, but also that thing is really good for faux lashes if you have them. So I've got ice on, look at that. It's not going on that way. We're gonna go on the inner corner and hit that, that edge of number 33 and we're pulling in. I'm going to bring that into the inner corner. We're not starting at the inner corner. We're bringing it in and blending it into that number 33. It's so, so good. Same thing over here. I always use my ring finger. And then we just pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. It's just a gorgeous color. Grab that fluffy brush. I have a little extra flex. Just dust them off, dust them off. And I'm just going to grab a little more ice and just blend it upward right here. So pretty. Now we're gonna go in with the eyeliner. I'm using Madrid, and for this color, I would probably add a little bit of baby watermelon, and I probably will at the end, but I don't change anything about my look until after my mascara is on, because that seals it, seals the look. We're gonna take, I'm using Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I'm gonna get right down here, and I'm gonna go up and over and across, just like that. We're getting that waterline. I'm pushing into my lashes. I think it fills them up. Boom, boom, boom. Just pushing up, pushing into that lash line and it just makes them look a little bit fuller and it gives my eye a lift. Did you see that? I, this is one of the things I do because I don't like bringing my eyeliner all the way across because I want my eyes to look open, I want them to be elongated and I want lift. So doing those three things, this is how I do it. I take a liquid pencil. I'm using Stila Stay all day. I've had this thing for like two years and it's getting thin. But if you want something a little more budget friendly, Maybelline Master Precise Ink. This is a metallic black. It's black. It's fine. But what you're really looking for when you're picking out a liquid liner is a nice, stiff, 
felt tip. You don't want a brush tip. It gets a little too loosey-goosey. All right, we're going to grab this. I'm going to go in on the small end. I want a small palette. I've got so many palettes out. All right, we're going in on the small side, and I'm just going to draw a nice line from my inner corner to my lash line here. This is going to extend my lash line because my lashes don't grow all the way across because I'm getting older. I'm 43 and things are not 20 years old anymore. I'm okay with it, but I also don't want to spend the time laying down for somebody to glue them on. I've done that and I don't, I don't hate it. I do love it, but I don't do it. All right, going in on the other end. This is double-sided, so I'm going in on the big end. We're going to go up about one-third and we're gonna hit that lash line and we're gonna draw, draw straight out, straight out until you hit that outer corner area, going just above the corner. And we're gonna go up and we're gonna focus where our crease is. So rest your face, see where your crease is because you really don't wanna go above it or into it because it can pull your eye down and then fill it in. So you're really just drawing a tiny little triangle outside your eye and it just gives that little lift it's so good this I desperately am needing sorry I don't have the most I have very thick carpet so nothing sits firmly on the ground all right a third of the way in and then we're going to pull straight out and then we're going to come just to above that corner and going up towards that crease without going into the crease making a tiny tiny baby wing this tiny wing makes the difference. You're just making it thick in this area of the eye. And it gives you that little bit of lift. But I don't like it to go into the crease because, ew, it just drags my eye down and then I look like I'm at least 10 years older than I am. All right, next I'm gonna go in and I'm using the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. I like the mascara that goes with it. I think it's actually comparable to the Bare Minerals that I use. It just doesn't have, the content doesn't live as long in the tube as it does with this. All right, so I'm just gonna coat the top half of the lashes, and this is just going to give them a little bit of volume, but it's really just focusing on length. I don't have the longest lashes in the world. I don't use serums. It's not because I don't like them. I just haven't found one link one for me if you have one that you love and that's that please do I would love to know for people who are over 40 over 50 I love using things for women in this I don't know I'm the I've been doing this since I was a teen but I'd always go for the mature skin products because I felt like it kept me young <laughs> it's the oil of Olay all the way Anyways, I would love to know what women in their 50s or 60s, if you're using a lash serum, let me know what it is because the years of doing the extensions have just destroyed the root of my lashes so I don't grow nearly as many. But I just wiggle at the base right now to give the volume in between. I just do a nice thin coat. I don't want tarantula eyes. Come over here, just wiggling and pulling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I sing that wiggle, wiggle song in my head when I do this. And then what's left on my brush before I need to reload, I go on the lower lash line. Boom, boom, boom. Reload. And now I'm going to get that top half of the lashes. And I'm going to flick the tips. And this just, to me, I feel like it gives me some length when I flick the tip. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. And this is the evergreen eye. Tell me that's not so pretty. And if you want to add something, now's the time to add it. So if you feel like you want to add a little more filly like I do, I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush. I'm going to grab a little bit, and I am just going to add a little bit of brown up here. Tap. And a little bit of brown out here. I like doing that. And then I'm going to touch up. Oh, that's so, I love filly. I just love filly but I really like to make sure I'm getting above that crease on that brow bone. All right, now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna tap off any excess and then I'm gonna do my set and sandwich. This is great for girls with oily skin. Charlotte Tilbury, Urban Decay, one or the other. I think they're both very comparable. I'm gonna use D-Slick. I'm very oily lately. I'm gonna go into setting powder. I keep two vanilla dusts together. 
and I am going to spray my face first. So get your face nice and damp. All right, grab your setting spray with a fluffy brush and then start on the perimeter while your face is still damp and bring it in. Grab some more perimeter and you wanna do this fairly quickly because you, again, want your face to be a bit damp. And then when you think your brush is empty, go to the middle of your face. Grab your setting spray, do it again. And you're gonna grab that same fluffy brush, press in your setting spray. What I like to do at this point is one, look at my makeup, see what I wanna add. And I do like to add pink. Right now I'm wearing Bella and Madrid. I'm gonna grab a, ah, a little bit of baby watermelon and I'm just gonna add a touch of pink. I don't care if it's winter, I don't care. We're popping a little pink on and I'm okay with that. And then I am going to take ice, ice, that eyeshadow ice. I'm gonna grab, let's grab the blend brush. We're gonna go into ice and I'm gonna add it as an illuminator. It's a beautiful, beautiful illuminator to go with this evergreen look because it doesn't go on green. It just adds this very nice, look at how pretty that is, subtle shimmer and I love it. All right, that's it. That is the evergreen look. If you keep your eyes peeled 2024 for ice, Saint is releasing, I'll take ice out and I'm gonna go get my ad, grab my advent colors real quick. Right here. So Saint is releasing an advent color a month. There's 12 advent colors and there's 12 months in a year. They are releasing each color once a month. The first color is going to be this one down here, crimson. I'm gonna be doing a look a month with it, but keep your eye out for ice if you didn't get it. It's a good one, you wanna grab it. It makes such a pretty illuminator. All right, that's it. Have a great day.